Yeah, because we have a, this top secret is going to be uh, it's going to be neat. We're going to show a couple things that we're working on, and then I'm going to ask Pete and Lamore to come up with what they what's the dream machine learning board. Um, so top secret this week, uh, we're working on these. What are these, dude? These are little quick compatible boards that add crypto security chips to your microcontroller wireless device. You can tell because there's a lock on it. There's a lock. That means it's (laughs) secure, guys. So So the ATECC 608 and also the Trust MCLX, there's two series from Infineon. There's a lot of companies coming out with uh, secure element chips, which is really good news because it means people are finally learning the lesson of don't pretend like your microcontroller is secure. It's not. So just put all your stuff here, and then at least you have someone to sue when it gets cracked. Yeah, and we'll have a whole big guide because there's Grove, there's Quick, there's Stemma, and Stemma QT. We made something that's compatible with all of them, Stemma. So we'll have a whole, like, here's what works with what, um, but these are just some of them. And then uh, you're also working on a Stemma OLED. Yep, I've got, uh, I'm going to try to design like one a week. So uh, I wanted to update our classic 128 by 32 monochrome OLED. And since I was redesigning it, um, I was, you know, I wanted to clean up the schematic a little bit, added auto reset circuit because that comes up a lot. And then again, I, I threw on this quick compatible connector and uh, indicator LED on the back. So I think we'll revise that OLED display and make it even better. And now it's plug and play. Okay. And the next part of Top Secret, I'm excited about this. So this is the name of our machine learning board. It's, it's going to be called BrainCraft. BrainCraft. Uh, because it's craft and it's like it's brains. And like, so we're yes. like, okay, so here, here's the idea. It's better um, than the yes, no machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're inside of this oh, machine yeah, learning now brain. We're inside so, the brain. Yeah, here we are. Here, look at us. Um, so this might be the shape of the board, but um, Lamar, you have a piece of paper here. Yeah. So um, this is where I write the. So, so Pete, you, you, you can wave a magic wand, and there's this, this MIT engineer sitting here. Yes. What do so you, I'm wearing a MIT what, shirt. What do you want? What <laughs> this do you, is a light shirt. What do you want on a machine learning board? What, for what, what microcontrollers. You, so loads of sensors. Lots, loads, loads of sensors. Of sen- loads oh, wait, hold on. I'm taking this so out. Loads of sensors. sensors. Could they be connected via little, you know, these these type of cables? Like you just which, put whatever which, ones you want? Yeah. Could they be pl- or should they be okay. attached? And which ones are the most important, you think? So um, I think having image sensors. Image sensors. So like it's really useful. So okay. that's like a camera. Yeah, like a camera. Okay. Like yeah, a yeah, Panasonic so grid eye. We call those like, cameras. It could, yeah. be, it could be a heat sensitive camera. Yeah, well, that's, okay. that's what I'm thinking. And camera, okay. and you know, one of the reasons we talk about image sensors is because, hey, yeah, you think about them as cameras, but then you think about, oh, I'm taking photos. Yeah. Whereas actually, if you've got machine learning, you can turn that image sensor into a, hey, is there a person in front of me sensor? Yes. Yeah. So it sort okay. of becomes. It's this. true. It is a camera and image, and I'm not okay. saying you're wrong. I just think. Yeah, it's, no, no. It's, it's, it's funny. It's the way, okay. the way my. Okay. What other sensors? All right. What else? You, what other sensors? Um, so yeah. microphones, microphones, obviously, because yes. we've seen. Do you need two or is one okay? No, one's perfectly one's fine. fine. Microphone. Right. Yes. I'm gonna cross out that S. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, accelerometers. Accelerometer. So that's actually, one of the videos we're gonna show at the end. We have a we found oh, a really cool. good low cost accelerometer. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, so what have you got? <laughs> oh, well, have you got what, what would you do? What would you do with an accelerometer? Why is that? Um, so actually, um, there's all sorts of things. So one of the things that's gestures. really cool is yeah, gestures. Okay. Um, also, if you've got like a piece of machinery that's like shaking itself to bits, yeah. yeah, you can actually use machine learning to do like predictive maintenance. Yeah. And spot when things are starting to go wrong, yeah. like when a bearing is starting yeah. to. Yeah. One of the best you know, machine loose. learning projects I saw was someone modified their power saw so right before kickback. Yeah. It would turn the blade off, ah. and the way they did that was to use it over and over and over to, and that was the training until it yeah. kicked back over and over. So it was speed, and it was the tilt. Ah. And so what happened was eventually they're like, you know what? When I when I, now when I use it, it'll cut it. It'll turn itself off before it kicks back. Yeah, it was yeah. like that's exact. And, and it was just like, why aren't the tool companies doing it? They're just they're not they're not doing electronics and machine learning. Yeah. So okay. Well, okay. So and that, I really, one of the things I actually really want to do with microphones is detect screams. Screams. Yeah. So that you could actually just power off oh, that's any machinery. Idea. Any machinery, it's, just yeah. screaming. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good for pranks, but also good for safety. Because yeah. like, someone just screams and just like, the well, thing turns off. a scream off. that you want. Okay, yeah. okay. so there's, there's inputs. The inputs are image sensor camera, microphone sensor. So what about outputs? What kind of outputs so, would you like? Uh, Screen and microphone. Oh, sorry, screen and speakers. Screen. Um, okay, so you want screen. So like one okay. of those screens that yeah. we just showed, maybe. Yeah. That what, would be do you awesome. have big or like is it? I don't know. No, I'm. No, he has no really. idea. Question mark. Yeah. 
Yeah. Do you need like a touch screen on it? Or do you want it just to be a I mean, that, I'm on the machine learning side. Uh, I really see the screen as more just um, like giving feedback. Feedback, so, obviously, yeah. like I like the badge project we did where it's like you get to see what it's telling you what's going on. Yeah. Or like if things don't work out. Okay. Yeah. So it. screen, what else? Uh, Outputs. So speaker. Speaker. You want okay. it to be able to chat back to you. Okay. If you Got chat that. to it. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. What um, are the outputs? So I think having something like we were talking about, you know, controlling like um, DC re or an AC DC relay or something. Okay. Like that. Relay. So, relay. Yeah. So some kind of, you know, something where yeah. you can What's actually What's great is, you, you know, the badge can kind of all do this right now with a feather yeah. connector. So good work, you. Okay. All right. So you just have to like make this look like a brain. Yeah. All right. All right. So inputs are image sensor camera, microphone accelerometer, and the output is screen for debugging, a speaker so we can like speak back to you, and like maybe a relay actuator type thing. The other thing that you know, I don't know as much about this as I'd like to, but yeah. um, have you looked at like NB, like IoT, like sort of narrowband yeah. IoT? Yeah. Yeah. The low cost data. Low, low cost data. Slow on, data. Like, yeah. Um, so you want something that you can add, you can plug that in, and now it has narrowband. Yeah, yeah. So you can just kind like of like. Aura, like mm, narrowband cellular. Yeah. So yeah, you want yeah. So you don't have to do some like the wireless, setup. wireless flexibility. Yeah, exactly. So Capability. So you can put these up in the world, yeah. and they can like, you know, oh, I saw a person but, on the. But keep it yeah. in the low power world. Like it has yeah. to be. It can yeah. sleep and wake up. It's so like three G, yeah. probably not, but yeah. narrowband yeah. IoT, which is making its way across the country. Yeah. Okay. All right. What else you want? What else? We're probably going to do this, so you're going to... Oh. Yeah. We're in the uh, brain. Yeah, we, we, we can't get out of this brain <laughs> until we have I can't leave this brain. Until the feature set is finished. Yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, part of it is, I guess, what we're thinking about for the power budget. Yeah. Because, obviously, like... So, you know, battery once power. you get into screen... Yeah, because I... You know, one of my big things is I want these to be out in, like, you know, in fields, like helping farmers kind of tell when pests are there so they can, yeah. like, you know, reduce the amount of pesticides they use and, like, you know, yeah, anything yeah. we can do. So anything we can do around, like, energy harvesting, like being able to have, like, a, a so solar, solar add-on. Yeah. Solar add-on. Yeah. So battery power, maybe yeah. solar capability. The more yeah. it made a really good solar charger, and I, I feel like, that might be a way that we can know yeah. like whatever type of garbage power we're getting in like who cares yeah. it just kind of can like it's just like okay whatever i got it like yeah. yeah so something that's that's okay with taking in not such great power yeah like sometimes it's solar sometimes it's on the grid okay okay i think that's enough to get started with yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. let me out of the brain okay okay and brain craft i think I think we're gonna go with that because I think there's too many words that have machine learning, yeah. and tensor in it, and like yeah, no, no, too many people don't. are calling. So this is it. Yeah, I worked for a company a long time ago called BrainCraft, and and now I have the domain name and the trademark. So and now you're always wondering what we're gonna do with it. I was, like, I was <laughs> I thought it was gonna be for like crafting, but then like fi when machine learning stuff came along, I'm like one day we're gonna have a BrainCraft. Well, it makes sense because you craft models. You're crafting right? little it's like brains. Model making. Yeah. 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 So okay. Hi. All right, and that is top secret. That's how we do product development now. <laughs> we're just going to invite... He just shoves me in this brain. We're just going to invite Google engineers over and say, what do you want? It's like the end of midsummer, except okay. it's a brain. So we're going to do... A